Hello and hi everyone. The probability of two events A or B occurring can be calculated using additional probability rules such as below. The probability of event A or B or both occurred is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B occurred and can be denoted as the probability of A union B. So we have the probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A intersect with B. So this is what we call as the additional probability rules. So for example number one, let's say we have a set of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Find the probability that the integer is an even, is even, no, it's even number or is divisible by 3. For the second question is, find the probability that the integer is an even number and is not divisible by 3. And for the third question, the integer is not an even number and is not divisible by 3. So, for the first question for the first solution let a be the event that the even number is chosen so we have and and we also have b is for the event that the chosen number is divisible by 3 and for a we have we have the element of a such that we have 2 4 6 8 10 and also 12 and for B for the element of B we have 3 6 9 and 12 so the by using or by referring to the formula the additional probability formula we have P a union B is equal to probability of a so we have 6 over 12 plus we have we have 4 over 12 and then we have to my, subtract with 2 over 12 which is it lead us to 2 over 3 so this is your answer 2 over 12 here 2 over 12 here comes from these two numbers 6 and 12 6 and 12 so that's the that's the two elements that that a intersect with event b for the second for the second question property of a intersect with with not b we may we may look at this uh, question in with the helps of venn diagram so let's say this is your Venn diagram over here. So we have we have event A and event B. So we have we have the element 2, 4, 6, 12, and we also have 8 and 10 for the element of A. And for B we have 6, 12, 3 and 9 included in b and also we have we have 1 and 5 outside of a and b so for the probability of a intersect with b prime or not b we may have the we may have the area shaded is like this so we have a so shade all the area of A and we also have not B so all the area of not B is shading is, is being shaded here so the intersection is just this area which is only A so we have we have one two three four we have we have four elements so we have four elements over 12 the overall elements so we have 1 over 
3 as the answer. Or otherwise, we can also look at this uh, these area like like the probability of a minus the probability of a minus the probability of a intersect with b so we may have 6 over 12 minus with 2 over 12 which leads us to the same answer one third It's just the different perspective over here and for C we have the probability of A union B prime we have we have 1 minus probability of A union B so we have 1 minus 2 over 3 is equal to 1 third or otherwise we can also use the Venn diagram to illustrate this one. So uh, you may discuss with your lecturer in illustrating this idea in or using the Venn diagram. For example number two, records shows records showed that 80% of all drivers who are summon for various traffic offenses are male drivers. 17% are drivers below 30 years old with 13% are male drivers who are below 30 years. If a driver who is if a driver who is someone is randomly selected, what is the probability that the driver is a male or below 30 years old? So we let L is the uh, event to get a male driver and T is the event to get a driver aged below 30 years old. So according to the inform information given, the probability of L is 0 0.8 and the probability of T is equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.17 and the probability of L intersect T is equal to 0 0.13. So we want to find we want to find the probability L union T. So using the additional rule, we get the probability of L union T is equal to the probability of L plus probability of T minus the intersection of the probability of the probability of intersection of L and T. So we have 0 0.80 0 plus 0 0.17 minus with one, 0 0.13 so it's equal to 0 0.84 thus the probability that the driver is a male or below 30 years old is equal to 0 0.84 Sometimes information is also given in table form. The value of probability is defined based on that information. So uh, let's say we have A, B, C, and D are four events that can be written in the table below. We have A and B, we have C and D, and for these for this area, we have the all the probability, or we can get the all the probability of A intersect C. We have also can get the probability of B intersect with C. We have the overall probability of C down here, and we also have uh, the probability of A in this area and the probability of B in this area. So we can we can we can refer to this this um, table later. For example number three, let's say we have a survey is conducted on a group of workers comprising of production operators, administrative officers and security guards. The survey is to determine the total working hours in a week. So we have all the data here. 
Now, one of the workers in the survey is randomly selected. Based on the information provided, calculate the probability of A. Worker being a production operator B. Worker who work between 50 to 70 hours C. Worker being an administrative officer and working more than 70 hours and D. Worker being a security guard working less than 40 hours So, for the solution, first, let P is the event of the worker is a production operator A. The worker is an administrative officer and C. The worker is a security guard So now, for the probability of P of even P occur is equal to 1, 9, 6 over overall worker. So we have 1, 9, 6 plus 43 plus 31. So we have the total of 1, 9, 6 over 270 which equal to 98 over 1, 3, 5. So this is, should be your answer for number A. And for B, for B, the probability of, of workers that working between 50 to 70 hours, we have, we have over here 70 people over 88 plus 70 plus 112 which lead us to 7 over 27. Next, for question C, the probability of event A, and intersect with working more than 70 hours, so we have 8 people, we have 8 people over the overall, so 270, which equal to 4 over 135. And for question D, the probability of even S intersect working less than 40 hours is equal to is equal to 4 over 270, which we can simplify it further and we get 2 over 135. So for our exercises, number one, in a group of 75 students, 16 students are taking statistics, chemistry, and physics. 24 of them are taking statistics and chemistry. 30 of them are taking statistics and physics. 22 are taking chemistry and physics. 6 are taking only statistics. 9 are taking only chemistry. And 5 are taking only physics. Find the probability that a student is not taking any of the three subjects and B, a student is taking chemistry. And for exercise number two, for the sample space S, it is given that the probability of A is equal to 0 0.5, the probability of A union B is equal to 0 0.6, and the probability of A intersect with B is equal to 0 0.2. So find the first one is the probability of B, number two, the probability of A prime, or the complement of A intersect with B. And the, the third question is the probability of A intersect with B prime. And number four, the probability of A prime intersect with B prime. I would suggest you to, to, to uh, draw uh, this uh, relation You're using uh, the Venn diagram and also refer to your lecturers. See you later and bye-bye.